Friendships, relationships and fallouts in the entertainment industry get interesting and can change at any given moment. Celebrities who were once best friends can quickly become enemies, sometimes for reasons totally unknown to the general public. Maintaining long-lasting friendships can also be hard work and it looks like some celebrities aren't interested in putting in the time to make sure that these relationships last. Either that or the fact that they let public opinions and their careers get in the way of their friendship. Hi guys, I am Bonale Ohiria. Hi everybody, my name is Miriam Adiemi. PRS Pact. Hi, my name is Kodeka, I've been a fashion stylist, designer and consultant. Hi, my name is Taji Prest. Hello, my name is Ogagos, I'm a publicist, I'm a blogger. Hey guys, my name is Adede Javidemi, I'm a fashion stylist. And you're watching Spice Most Controversial Celebrity Fight. I feel it's going to be very juicy, very informative and very, very much fun. Stay tuned. Because this list wouldn't be complete without and should start with David O. We have his most recent fight, which put him on our list. In December 2015, a music site published a list of top producers of 2015. Nothing major, nothing out of the ordinary, certainly, until David O sent out a tweet congratulating some producers who made the list and at the same time, mocking J. Feb, who worked on his hit Owenikoko for missing the cut. Next up, we have a feud between Amber Rose and the Kardashians, which blew up early last year, leading to Kanye West dissing his ex Amber Rose, Amber Rose digging out Kim's sex tape, the Kardashians and Janice clan clapping back, and in her recent coverage story with Complex Magazine, Kardashian commented on just how the feud began after Amber Rose insulted Kylie Jenner on the radio show. Khloe Kardashian took to Twitter to bash the former stripper. Do you have one thing in common? Kanye, we all know Kanye, Jesus, or whatever you call yourself. At the end of the day, I understand your pain, Amber, that yes, she got your man and everything. But, Bubu Child, get over it. I don't know, it's one of those things, man. They're both living their life. You know, Amber's still doing her thing. She did the slot walk recently, which is, oh, don't be shamed, you know, people should let you live your life and whatever. And then Kim is obviously striving to live be a better example because she now has kids and she's married. So if you look back, they both have quite similar, you know, backdrops. Well, best of friends and business partners, the band and Don Jazzy under the Mo Hits music label have finally parted ways. It was even reported that the two got separated because of an interview that the band granted a magazine in America where he stated that Don Jazzy and other artists are under his label while he's the owner of the label and many of such stories that have been flying around. The news was shocking with Don Jazzy confirming the breakup on Twitter and his new record label without the band. And then the band granted a tell-all interview that revealed more and the rest of the day is history. We all know Don Jazzy is doing very well in his career. We all know that Don Jazzy is um, is is very, very, very enterprising than the band. The band is depreciating. He needs to get back to Don Jazzy to make things work for him. Jazzy and Don Jazzy and the band are always saying, I don't believe what you hear in the media. So they're actually, you know, working on their relationship. Hopefully they do many, many collabos to come and create magic in the world. Because obviously it's great for them because they put us, they put Nigeria as a whole on the world map. There are always the good days and the not so good days. So being able to like sort the days that are not so good is one thing I really appreciate from friendship. So I never saw it that it was going to be that long before they came back together. It was all messy, sending each other nasty messages and all that stuff, but thank God. <laughs> Following the Mohit's records closing shop, we didn't see our next celebrity feud between Don Jazzy and Wandy Cole, who took his side after the breakup and then left him to form his own Black Diamond Entertainment label. In November 2013, One Day released a new single, Babyface, under his Black Diamond Entertainment, and shortly after, Don Jazzy took to Twitter to make a quick rant 